The nice thing about online classes is you can present things in the way that makes the most sense for the material, whereas in a classroom you're limited to the technology you have in the classroom to a large extent. We both use Mastering Chemistry, which is provided by our textbook publisher, which is an interactive homework system that can provide hints and guide students through. We use Online Chem Labs, which is at onlinechemlabs.com, and it's a virtual laboratory package. There are instruments available to the students that otherwise in a uh, freshman experience on a brick and mortar level wouldn't happen. And that's because we're not limited by cost or by availability of instruments, but the same student learning outcomes are met. We have, if you will, a substitute for what may be a traditional lecture on campus, and that would be our video modules. It gives them an extra sense of connection to us because they can see me, but now they know what I look like and, and how I talk about things and how I write on the board. And I think that extra connection has been valuable for them. We can use interactive videos or interactive modules that allow students to go through at their own pace and actually kind of interact with the concepts, answer questions about the concepts so they can be sure that they're understanding what's going on before they move through. And we can use things like pen casts when we're talking about calculations. They can actually see the writing appear as I'm writing it and hear an audio track of me describing what's going on. So if they understand most of the calculation up to a certain point, they can just click on the spot where they sort of lost track of what was going on and just start from there. Another thing we've instituted recently is a live tutoring session that we have with TAs. And students are free to log on to these hours, ask questions and the, the TAs can both talk them through it and write at the same time and give them good live interaction. For the courses I teach, I found that we use the discussion boards a lot. So they get to know a little bit about me and then I get to know about them. We also see when they start introducing themselves, then someone else will pipe in and is like, oh, you were in my class two terms ago. It's nice to see you again. So they definitely start to build that community off the bat. 